What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on first take, they're going to be talking about the Houston Rockets, and do they still have a chance to make a run at the championship with all the troubles that are going on between Chris Paul and James Harden? So let's see what they have to say about that. Are the Rockets still contenders? Yes, if they play the right way. Tension is good. Besides my show, this is my favorite show. Mm -hmm. And I see you, you, well, not you, but I see you and Ms. Steven, and you have tension every morning. But what I also realize is there's respect. Right. You're going to always say what you say. I've been knowing you for a while. And we all know Stephen A's crazy. He's going to say what he But you guys respect each other. That's why this is one of the best shows. Same with our show. Me and Kobe had tension all the time. But we respected each other. Respected each other so much that after we won our first championship, he was the first guy to jump in my arms. So you can have tension. You can say, hey, man, move the ball. We all know the game. One guy's not going to do it by himself. One guy taking 40, 50 shots not going to do it. Everybody has to be involved. My problem with the Rockets is... They give the ball to one or two guys and just play one-on-one -on -one the whole time. Chris, too. You yeah. get it and you dribble seven up, that's not going to win. Golden State is my favorite team because they play the right way. Yeah. They got three or four superstars, but it's bing, bing, bing. Everybody's involved. Touch it. Patrick McCart even now has, you know, three championships now because everybody plays the right way. So I don't mind them having tension. just has to be respectful tension because holding hands and having a great show and holding hands and having a great championship, I never heard that story. All the stories I heard about the past grades, if they had tension, they had beef. But when you step inside the lines, you got to respect each other. So, is the way they. So I agree with Shaquille O'Neal somewhat <clears throat> about uh, playing uh, their, their playing style. But it's very easy to uh, work through tension and work with somebody that you don't like when you guys are winning. And that's exactly what uh, Shaq and Kobe did for the most part. They won multiple championships. So it's very easy to deal with somebody you don't like when you're winning. Now, on the other hand, with the, the Houston Rockets, they haven't been winning. They've got close, but they haven't been winning. So it's very hard for them to probably deal with each other when you're not winning. It's been the past two years you've had time to prepare and scheme and get a game plan and to beat the Golden State Warriors for the two the past two years, you failed. So the, the tensions are going to be very high. People are going to be pointing fingers. And it's going to be very hard to deal with each other when you guys are not winning. It's just not a good deal. And as far as their playing style, um, so what works for Team A might not work for Team B. So it, it kind of varies. Uh, if that's their system, then that's their system. And the last thing about Shaq's talking about how they play and passing the ball. So I would agree with him in that, that everybody he needs to get, or James Harden or Chris Paul needs to get everybody involved. But it's worked throughout, throughout the regular season. Throughout the regular season, they're ballers. They can take care of business. They're beating everybody, and everything's just fine. They're winning. But... For whatever reasons, when it gets to the playoffs, they start falling apart and start choking. So I don't necessarily think it's about getting everybody involved and having Chris Paul or James Harden pass the ball and get everybody to have their rhythm because it works during regular season, but it doesn't work during the playoffs. So that's the only flaw I see in what Shaq is saying about getting everybody involved because whatever it is, there's a, a, a switch that goes off when it comes to the playoffs. So let's continue. And playing the right way to play. No, and okay. it's not going to be. It's not going to be any other great teams that's playing the right way. You know, because in order to like, I'm always the first to say, yeah, I got four championships, but not without Big Shot Bob, not without Brian Shaw, not without Rick Fox. Like I could have took all the shots, but that, that, that that's not going to keep them ready. So you. Always well, that's true, but Shaq, they were giving you the ball a lot, and that's exactly why they had Hacker Shaq. Because they give you the ball and you were absolutely unstoppable. And they know the only way they will stop you to, get, to have a chance is to hack a shack, foul you, and make you beat them or make you make those free throws that a lot of the times you would miss. So as far as that, I wouldn't quite say that. Like I said, one system works for Team A. Another system works for Team B. And like I said, the Houston Rockets, they, their system works during the regular season. It's just after a couple months, when the playoffs start, they just fall apart and they, it just doesn't work anymore. So I don't know if I, it, there's something in there. There's something in there that they need to fix. And I don't necessarily think it's their playing style. But let's keep going. You got to keep the guys where like, and I always say this team, this term, others. You always got to keep the, the, the others involved. My favorite others clip is Chicago Bulls versus U, U, Utah Jazz. Michael Jordan is drinking a glass of water. And Steve Kerr said, Mike. They're doubling you. Kick it to me. I'm going to make it. And Mike says, okay, I got you. He pump fake John Stockton, kick it to stir uh, to Steve Kerr. He knocks it down. So you definitely need the others. But if you're holding the ball 9, 10, 11, 12 seconds and try to give it to the guy at the end, end of the shot clock, 
He's not going to be a so rhythm. You, you got to keep your guy. So, again, I agree with Shaq somewhat, but like I said, the flaw in his argument with that is it works during the regular season for the Houston Rockets. James Harden can hold on to the ball to the very last second. If he doesn't get a good look, he'll kick it out to somebody else. Same thing with Chris Paul. They seem to win. They seem to uh, play well. They seem The system seems to work just fine during the regular season. But for whatever reason, when it comes to the playoffs, it doesn't work. And I know teams play teams different during the playoffs and they make certain type of adjustments, but not to the point to where the Houston Rockets should absolutely be falling off and choking the way they do compared to the regular season. That's what I'm saying. There's something in there that they need to fix or tweak because I don't necessarily think it's what Shaq is talking about, about getting everybody involved because the system works for, for what, three or four months during the regular season, but when the playoffs come up, it just doesn't work. So I don't know. Let's keep going. As in rhythm. So you think that's the only thing holding them back from a championship? Yeah, they got to play together. But Shaq, here's one more thing. And you were a great passer, but you didn't wait until, you know, you had no option and then passed. You got the guy, you got the ball to guys, you know, on their steps in position, rhythm. which is, I think, the number, the rhythm, that's the number one indicator of whether or not they're going to hit the shot, right, is the yep. pass. But also, in the finals, when your team needed you, you balled out. And I look at James Harden, even playing this way, it's make or miss. He's not, like, take game I'm one. Not. He jumps under Draymond's legs. He looks to get bailed out by the ref. How about hitting the shot? I'm not going to disrespect James Harden and say he's not a baller. We know thank he, you. We know I'm he not has, saying thank you. Hold on, hold on, yes, you have. Hold on, hold on. We, we, we all know he has the ability to, to, to score. But if he did both, cause like, let me tell you something about James. He can score whatever he want to. But let me kick it to P.J. Tucker. He just hit a three. It makes it easier for you rather rather than trying to score 500 points in four games. So if he just get off the ball every now and then. I don't agree. And then, Why were you able to? Yeah, again, Shaq, the flaw in your argument is it works during the regular season. If uh, James Harden shoots the ball 30 or 40 times and he only kicks the ball out every now and then when he absolutely has to and they're winning games during the regular season, that's the system that they have. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of hard to win one system throughout the whole regular season and then switch up the whole system when you get to the playoffs. It's going to be kind of hard to make that, that type of adjustment. And like I said, this, the, the system works for the regular season with James Harden taking all the shots, keeping the ball with him the whole time. Everything works just fine through the regular season. But for whatever reason, when it gets to the playoffs, it doesn't work. And again, I don't necessarily think it's because he's not passing the ball or getting his, everybody else involved because it works before the playoffs. So I don't know. Let's keep going. I don't, I don't, no, no, got, no, 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 here, why though, here, why though, stop it, he can't uh, take every shot, the stop reason it. they're not contenders is because they don't have the right personnel, Are you James is it, look, you stop it? yo, James is a willing passer, when he passed the ball to P.J. Tucker, he three and D, he either shot a rim, then you talk about Golden State, you hit Iggy, he shot fake, rim, dribble, second, third play, those guys aren't used right, to having a basketball, dribble and pass, not, Put it between your leg ten times and wait for the shot clock to come down. But I'm saying, if you go and double James, which he was doubled in that series, every time he came off pick and roll, and he makes the right play. If those guys aren't making the second and third plays on the backside, you hit but, Draymond Green when the shooters are there. He's the second secondary point guard in the offense. Inky, Livingston, those role players versus Houston's role players without Trevor Ariza. Without with that, Trevor oh, Ariza, they did. They had Trevor Ariza, PJ Tucker, the whole crew, and they didn't get it done. But you lose. But you lose. Yeah, but they're playing with a different system. Their system's geared primarily around James Harden and Chris Paul. Now, of course, obviously they're going to be there and they get the ball every now and then. But majority of the time, it's going to go through James Harden or Chris Paul. Now, you want to talk about the Golden State Warriors? They they distribute the ball a lot more evenly. It's, it's, for, if not, if no reason other than they have a bunch of superstars that anybody can really take the shot. But whatever the situation is, they distribute the ball evenly. If it's not at Clay, then it's at Steph. If it's not at Steph, then it's at Kevin Durant. If it's not Kevin Durant, then they might kick it out to Draymond Green. They all have shooters, and they all distribute the ball very, very well because they, they can depend on everybody else. It's not like they have just one superstar that you're just going to have to feed him the ball the whole time, and he's your bread and butter, which is what the Houston Rockets do. James Harden and Chris Paul, primarily James Harden, is their bread and bar butter, so they're they're going to feed him the rock more. So, I don't know. Let's keep going. It's Trevor Reason. You don't come back with the same squad. And Chris Paul, a year later in his career, is going to give you the same thing? Shaq, I want to get back to why some players, like in the finals, when your team needed you, putting up 40 points. And it seemed to be like every time. 
I'm good. It's not about being disrespectful to James Harden because I'm just telling the truth. That's all I got. I didn't play in the league. I just have to tell the truth as I see it. He doesn't. I thought he looked to get bailed out by the ref in the first game. I've seen too many games, must-win games, where it's like, well, he just didn't hit the shot. Well, brother, you got to hit the shot there. That's the difference. You're right about that, but I would like to see him do both. You got to keep everybody involved and dominate, especially, you know, especially in the fourth quarter. If I was a guy that could shoot like that and I had, you know, adequate, okay players around me, I would see what they're going to do first quarter. Okay, y'all ain't doing nothing. I'm taking over. Give him a chance every quarter to do something. And then the fourth quarter, I'd have the Kobe Bryant mentality. I ain't passing nobody for fourth quarter is mine. But let me throw... Yeah, that's true, but that's not the way the Houston Rockets run it. And that might point to the coaching staff about what how, how they're going to run their plays, who the players go through. But that's just not the way that's not, that's just not the way it works for the Houston Rockets. It always goes through James Harden first, and then if he can't make it, he defers to somebody else. And a lot of times, he might take a bad shot or just lob it up. That's the way he's taking a, a gang of shots per game. Like I said, they don't do it the way the Golden State Warriors do, where they distribute the ball around and somebody would take a shot. If it doesn't look good, they kick it out. They don't do that because they have more they have more hands on deck that are snipers. So I, I, that just doesn't work with the Houston Rockets. So I, I, there's, there's a flaw in what Shaq is talking about. It just doesn't work with them. It has to go through James Harden, and it's been proven, and, and it works. It works during the regular season. But for whatever reason, it doesn't work during the playoffs, and that's what they're going to have to need to figure out. So let's keep going. This out, though. In the triangle when y'all played, your personnel, all those guys had to make decisions, correct? Well, no, because we made the decisions for them. It's easy. Throw it to me, see what they're going to do. Oh, you're not going to double? Barbecue chicken alert. You're going to double? Rick, you stay over there. Fish, you stay over there. That's your spot. Kobe, you dive in case I threw it on the backside. Big shot, Bob, you in the other corner. But I'm we saying, made a decision for whatever him. pass you make in that triangle dictates what's going to happen. Yeah, but but you got to allow your guys to be in rhythm and you got to allow them to play. Like, I can't take every shot yeah, and yeah, say, yeah. Rick, you shoot. So now, boom, make a hard dribble, double. We see what you got, Rick Fox. Oh, Rick Fox hit, hit one. We run the same play. No, nah, Phil, we're not doing that. We run the same play. Rick, oh, Rick hit it up. We run the same play until they stop it. And that's how we were able to win because you definitely got to so, keep everybody. So- yeah, but still, Shaq, like I said, it's a different story because you had multiple good players with you, Kobe, and what, Rick Fox, Fisher, <clears throat> excuse me, and all those guys. It's not necessarily like that with the Houston Rockets because there's a huge drop off between James Harden, Chris Paul, and all the other guys. So, primarily, even if, even if it was closer, primarily the ball is going to go through James Harden and Chris Paul. And James, most of the time, it's going to go through James Harden. So, he's not going to be going through his check through to see who else is going to be out there, it's going to go through him. And it's justified because, again, it works during the regular season. It just doesn't work in the playoffs for whatever reason. So let's keep going. James keeps kicking it, kicking it to the corners, and nobody's making plays. Then he should keep doing over. that? No, then no. Then you take over. Then so that's not a over. personnel problem, though? No, it's not a personnel problem. Because, listen, we... You guys, everybody was talking about them all year. It's for a reason because of, of him and Chris and the personnel. I didn't talk about Houston. Listen, I didn't like. I didn't like Wayne Capella, doing. PJ Listen, Tucker. Yeah, I didn't like, like it. The personnel was adequate enough to get it done, but you got to keep those guys involved. Everybody pointed all year long. When you lost Trevor Reza, you lost a lot. Now Trevor may be known as a three and D guy. 